Is it typical, doctor, um, that you perform a toxicology test as well? Yes. When you do a, an autopsy? Yes. What, what is the purpose of doing a toxicology report? Um, we do it in all violent deaths, and um, it's to determine whether there, was, there were any drugs or what drugs were in the system. Was that performed on Gannon Stauk? Yes. Was there anything unusual detected in Gannon Stauk um, at the time of autopsy? There was, there were some drugs or there was a drug that was present. Okay. So let's talk first, um, acetaminophen, a typical over-the-counter uh, medication. Was that found in Gannon? Yes. Would that be anything unusual that a child would have potentially residual acetaminophen at the time of autopsy? If maybe the patient, at the, I mean, the decedent at that time was um, having a fever or pain, they would give them acetaminophen or Tylenol. Would that be common, though, in an 11-year-old to find that in a, a body, potentially? No, you don't always see that. Okay. What about, what other things did you find in, in Gannon's uh, bodily tissues? Um, he also had hydrocodone in the liver tissue. All right. So let's talk about hydrocodone. What is hydrocodone? Um, hydrocodone is um, a narcotic analgesic. It's um, a drug used for pain. And that is um, also found in um, cough medications because it's supposed to suppress your cough. Is hydrocodone a controlled substance? Yes, you need a prescription for that. So I can't just go to Walgreens without a prescription and buy hydrocodone? Yes. <clears throat> is it um, indicated as highly addictive? It, yes, you can be dependent on it. What are the effects of hydrocodone on a human? Um, depending on the dosage, you can initially become drowsy, lightheaded, um, dizziness. And if you take a higher dose, it could lead to um, respiratory depression or you'll have problems breathing. You'll have lethargy, um, coma, and eventually death. Was it unusual in your opinion to find hydrocodone in a child of 11 years old uh, like we did here in in Gannon's death yes I found it unusual is that because of all of those issues you just described yes and there uh, if it was for a cough you would give something that didn't have the you know narcotic analgesic in it typically people would not yes you would that wouldn't be the first line of choice okay May I have just a moment, Your Honor? May. Go ahead, Doctor. Thank you. Cross examination, Mr. Cook. Thank you, Your Honor. Good morning, Dr. Ignacio. Good morning. Uh, my name is Will Cook, and I'm a defense attorney in this case. I'm going to ask them follow-up questions. Um, were you able to tell the blunt head trauma injuries, the three, uh, the three on the top of the head you were discussing? Can you tell the jury if those were post-mortem or pre-mortem? They were pre-mortem. Pre-mortem. And by that, you mean uh, before death? Yes. Okay. At one point during your investigation, were you kind of unsure whether the blunt force trauma had happened before or after Gannon had died? No. Okay. <clears throat> and the injuries that you noted in your report and during the autopsy, they would indicate that this was a, a, a violent death. Yes. Okay. Uh, also, it looked like a lot of the injuries, the, the uh, blunt force injuries, the sharp force injuries, uh, it looks like it was just uh, a random act, whereas uh, there's no pattern to it. You have injuries uh, to the head, you have injuries to the body, some are deep, some are shallow. 
it indicates that this was a random attack, correct? Yes. Okay. There was no pattern to it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Would the blood force injuries, were they fatal by themselves? Yes, they could be. Okay. And the, you say the gunshot was fatal in and of itself as well? Yes. Okay. Did the bullet from the gunshot, I, I can't remember what you said, did it enter into the cranial vault? It did not. It did not. Okay. And the mechanism for death with the gunshot it was that it severed the spinal cord or some vertebrae yes okay and what would have been the mechanism for death with the blood force injuries would that have been bleeding or uh hemorrhaging in the brain what would that have been yes there was hemorrhage in the brain okay When uh, you're doing investigation and autopsies and looking at toxicology reports, uh, did you go back or did your office or did you receive any information about whether Gannon had had a prescription for uh, cough syrup or cough medicine that contained any hydrocodone? No, I didn't inquire. Okay. So it is possible that he could have had a medication or a prescription from a doctor to assist with the cough. It's possible. Okay. And if he had had a prescription for a opiate-based uh, cough syrup or cough medicine, then it would follow that it would show up in his blood or his toxicology results. Yes. Okay. Could any of the injuries noted have happened? Uh, there's evidence that there was a suitcase that he was in. He was, um, you know, the suitcase was thrown off an overpass of a highway near Pensacola. Is there any uh, way that some of the injuries could have been caused by uh, the impact of the suitcase hitting the ground? Like which injuries? At the blunt force trauma injuries. No, they were on the top of the head. The top of the head. Yeah. No. Okay. In a lot of injuries, doctor, you'll see stippling or powder burns on the skin where a bullet or a projectile will enter. Did you note any of that, um, any of those type of injuries on Mr. Uh, Gannon? I didn't see any stippling, but okay. it's also because of decomposition. I might not be able to see it. Okay. And that was an I next question. Would decomposition, even if it had originally been there, would, uh, would it make that disappear or decay? Maybe. Maybe. So what I'm getting at is, you, were you able to make any type of conclusion as to uh, the distance the gun was from uh, the body when it was discharged? No. Okay. Were any of the sharp force injuries, were any of them in and of themselves um, fatal? Um, because of the decomposition, I couldn't really tell. I mean, when I looked at the lungs, because I was thinking it would um, penetrate the lungs, I didn't see any injuries, but because there was decomposition, it was hard to see. So I couldn't really tell with the injuries that w went into the chest cavity. So I guess all you can say is it's possible. Is, is it possible that some or one or more of these sharp force injuries were fatal? Yes, it could be fatal if left unattended. Okay. And it looks like in your report, uh, 
you look for organs, you remove some of them, you measure the contents of fluids in different organs and that sort of thing. It looks like the uh, in your report, it mentions that you couldn't find a pancreas. Is that because Gannon did not have a pancreas or because it had just decayed to the point of being able to identify it? Yes, decomposition. Decomposition. So a lot of this stuff, um, a lot of the organs and um, whatnot in Gannon, they had decayed to the point where you couldn't identify them anymore. Yes. Okay. And is that typical for uh, a body that had the history of exposure to the elements? Yes. Okay. Uh, just a moment, doctor. Hang on. 